we present a novel approach to generate a 3D building grammar from a single photograph. Given a street-level image of a building and the silhouette of the target building highlighted, our system generates as output a 3D building grammar and a corresponding 3D geometry including the back sides and the top face which are not visible in the photo. Also, since the output is a grammar, we can create many 3D building models by simply changing the parameter values and grammar selections. Procedure modeling is a powerful technique to generate a parametric 3D geometry. Once a grammar is defined, a 3D geometry can be generated by executing the derivation of the grammar, and a 2D image is rendered as a result. By changing parameter values, a wide variety of building images can be rendered easily. However, creating such a grammar requires professional knowledge, and it is a tedious work even for expert users. To address this issue, our goal is to generate a grammar and parameters from a 2D image. This problem is called inverse procedure modeling. Using convolutional neural networks to directly solve this problem is an option if we have enough variation in the training dataset. However, in general, it is not feasible because of the huge parameter space. To tackle this challenging problem, our key idea is to subdivide the problem into three stages, building mass, facade, and window. For each stage, we further simplify the subproblem as much as possible to reduce the parameter space and make it easier for the CNNs. The first stage requires a single photo and the silhouette of the target building as input. Here, the silhouette serves to simplify the subproblem at this stage. The recognition CNN recognizes the shape of the building mass, and the parameter estimation CNN estimates the camera parameters as well as the details of the shape, such as width, depth, height, and roof size. The estimated parameters are further refined by an optimization. The output of this stage are the camera parameters and the building mass grammar. The second stage starts by simplifying a rectified facade image. First, we estimate the average floor height and column width using a CNN. This gives us a uniform grid structure. Then the following image-based method refines the facade subdivision based on gradient magnitude. Afterwards, Window Recognition CNN and Window Parameter Estimation CNN find the location and the size of the windows. As a result, a simplified facade image contains window boundaries without any geometry or texture. This simplified image is then used as input to another set of Recognition and Parameter Estimation CNNs to recognize the facade structure and estimate the parameters such as floor height, column width, window size, and space between windows. The output of this stage is a facade grammar. In the third and the last stage, a window style recognition CNN is applied to each tile image to recognize the window or door style. Our facade grammar defines one or multiple non terminals for the windows. For windows with the same non terminal, the best window style is selected by maximum vote. We repeat this process for each non terminal to select a window grammar. Here, we present a few sessions of generating a 3D building model from an image. Given a photograph, the user draws a silhouette of the target building, and the system generates output to grammar and a 3D model of the building. The dominant color of the rectified facade is used as a facade color. The computation time was less than 10 seconds for each building. We selected the first 50 office buildings from ImageNet and the first 30 office buildings from Sun Dataset, excluding the aerial images and the images that show only a part of the building, and apply approach to generate 3D building grammars. Here we show some of the results. For each building, the top image shows the input photo and the bottom image is the output 3D building. 
we evaluated each stage of our approach. For the building mass stage, we compare our approach to Nishidai Toal and the vanishing point approach. For the facade stage, we compare our facade subdivision and our entire facade stage to the previous approaches. For the window stage, we qualitatively evaluate our approach. Please refer to the paper for more details. Since the output of our approach is a grammar, we can generate many variations of 3D buildings from a single output grammar by changing parameter values and grammar selections. In this session, the user draws a silhouette of the target building, and the 3D building grammar is generated by our system. Then many buildings are procedurally generated using the same output grammar, but with slightly different parameter values and grammar selections.